Hey, Shalom and welcome. This is Rakam Kapash from GMS London giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakhak Wadash. When I give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom out there to the whole world that's pushing truth and all sincerity. Yeah, back here again with another video. Uh, I'm going to entitle this one, um, you know, they should be found to be liars, man. And this is, you know, these uh, a reference or in reference to these small hats, okay, that are going around the earth parading uh, to be the Lord's chosen people. Okay, they're in the land of Israel. All right, where you know, realistically, man, these men don't meet the requirements of the prophecies in the scriptures to be called those people. All right, but they, they got like you know a, a monopoly on on the belief of the of the world that these men are are you know the legit people. Okay, which they're not. Right, and then you know, in, in time to come, they're gonna be found out to be to be liars, man. Okay, imposters, impersonators. That, that's that's all they're doing. That's what they are. All right. And, and in due time, the whole world's going to know this. Okay. It ain't going to be a common con you know, consensus where people believe that these guys, these small hats, are uh, the real people, man. All right. So we're just going to go into it. I'm going to start here in Job 9 24. And it says here The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right. So you got Edomites out here, you know, and, you know, beginning with the, the tribe of Amalek. Okay, the head tribe of Esau, okay, who are impersonating themselves to be, you know, God's chosen people. Okay, who are supposed to be, you know, who in the scriptures are the children of Israel, right? But we got fronters, man, we got liars, we got deceivers, devils, right? We got impersonators, you know, uh trying to play that role, man, trying to convince people that they're those people that are, that are written about written of in the scriptures. Okay, but again, they don't feel fulfill biblical prophecy. Right, there's no they, they shouldn't even be in that land right now. Okay, the Israelites shouldn't be in the land of Israel right now. Not until the Savior comes. Alright, and we're still waiting for the second return of Yahweh Shai. So they have no business being there. Alright. They they fulfilled different prophecies in the scriptures concerning the heathen, the Gentiles. Okay, the heathen nations, right? Which we'll get in a bit, right? So the earth's beginning to handle the wicked. Esau has put himself up as to be, you know, you know the so called white people put themselves up to be you know, God, the Lord, the angels, the you know, God's chosen people, right? He's whitewashed, you know, people's minds to believe in that he's he's the guy. Right? He's the one that, you know, should be getting all the respect on the earth, man. Okay, which he which he he the devil. He he don't he deserve no respect. All right. But the earth's been given into their hands, so they've had the power to do this. All right. Ever since the Renaissance period where they, you know, was doing all, all the uh, iconoclasm and you know and all the all the other things that we're doing. All right, they've been able to put themselves in that position on the planet. All right, but it's the work of the wicked. All right, this is Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. It says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which, which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Right? They're the deceivers, man. They're pretending to be, you know, the righteous. They're, they're pretending to be the God's, uh, God's chosen people. Right? And this was originally sp spoken to our people, man, but... Like I said, Esau is now impersonating. He he actually impersonating, right? Because this is spoken of Israelites, but they were still Israelites. Okay, they just weren't in the right spirit, man. Okay, they were the you know of, of Satan. Okay, or, you know they're adversarial, right? But these Edomites now they're actually they are, they are, they are actually Satan, <laughs> right? Right, and they're actually not Israelites, right? But they're impersonating us, man. They're they're, they're liars, right? So I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. But are the synagogue of Satan. Alright. So they're straight up lying, man. They're lying for favor. Right? To to pull the the wool over, you know, people's eyes, the world's eyes, man, to make him believe that, you know, they're 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 rightfully, or you know, that they're the righteous, man. All right, and this is from Micah 2, verse 1. Says, woe to them that devise iniquity and woe uh, uh, and work evil upon their beds. Right, and this was a plan, this was a plot that they, they, they um you know put together, you know, and they was able to um fulfill that plan and that agenda, you know, uh during World War Two in nineteen forty eight, right? When they were taken, you know, uh out of Europe, okay, and, and put in there by the British government and so on, right, into the land of Israel. All right. That was a plan, it was a, a wicked device, right? 
Um, when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of the hand, because the, the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. Right? So they had the, the power to do this. <coughs> All right. Verse 2 says, and they covet fields. Right? They, 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 they eye up fields to steal, to take. Okay, and that's what Esau's been doing his whole life. Right? Stealing other people's lands and resources, killing them. That's all Esau's been doing because he's blessed with the sword, right? So they covet fields and take them by violence. Right? He's a violent man. And houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage, right? And that's what he's done. He's, he's gone around destroying all these nations and, you know, specifically us, right? To the point that we don't even recognize recognize ourselves to be Israelites as, as a majority of our people. Right? We don't recognize ourselves as Israelites, man. We call ourselves with fucking different shades of the fucking... <laughs> of the universe You know what I'm saying You know he got us on, 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 on the black white agenda You know he got us Confused with all these Different um, Biowords and proverbs That he's, he's labelled us Over the years man You know Whether you're African American Whether you're Caribbean Or, or, or whatever you, you know you, you're, you're African Or you're black Or you're fucking half caste Or you're this Or you're that You know you're Negro Like it, It's so much Terms that Jake Go by It's not It's not, it's not even a A uh, a unified thing Like yeah We, we don't we, we're, we're this Because none of these are nations Right But You know Jake liked the idea Of being a part of something So he's going to call himself African American Even though You know He ain't, he ain't from no man Called African American You know what I mean He he just He's just there He's just on a, on a piece of land <laughs> You know That Esau's ruling And he want to serve that land and, and, and you know That system You know But it's not who we are who we are is the is the Israelites, man. Okay, you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the Israelites. Okay, and he has he has broken us down and took that from us, man, and had the cheat to, you know, put it upon himself. Right, so he's oppressed our, 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 our heritage, man, and stolen our heritage. Because that's what he does: he kills and steals. Right, the thief cometh not but to steal and to kill. That's what he's been doing. Esau's been doing that. Amalek have, have taken on that. You know? In Zechariah chapter 9 verse 6, right? So, like I mentioned, man, these guys don't f fulfill biblical prophecy concerning the Israelites and when they would turn, uh, return to the land and what would be happening on the earth when they return to the land, right? And they don't fit none of those things as much as they try to make it sound like they do. You know, talking about 1948 was a fulfillment of prophecy. No, it wasn't. You know, you, you, you came on British Airways. Yahushua didn't come and collect you in a chariot. Yahushua still hasn't turned up yet. So what are you doing there? Right? You fulfill different types of prophecies in the scriptures, man. You know, like I said, concerning the heathen, the enemies, right? And here's one. This is, uh, is Zechariah chapter 9, verse 6. It says, And a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines, man. We've got bastards uh, living in the land, man. Okay, heathen, defiled in the land Because we was trodden down Right, Luke 21 and 24 says, And they shall fall by the edge of the sword And shall be led away captive un into all nations This is the Israelites We was going to be led away into all nations Okay, which is what's happened to us, right Captives, we were put in slavery Okay, transatlantic slave trade Okay, that went on, that happened, <laughs> you know And it says And Jerusalem Okay, Jerusalem, Israel, the land of Israel. Because they have, <laughs> this is the thing, right? Even these small hats that are there now, they haven't even got the whole land of Israel. They're, they're fighting with, with the Palestinians over, over portions of the land because they ain't even got it all, man. They ain't got the, they ain't got the temple. They got, the capital's got to be Tel Aviv. They're, they're humping, humping a wall, <laughs> you know, where the, where, the, where the temple was. You know what I'm saying? This, this, this isn't biblical prophecy. This isn't, this isn't fulfillment of prophecy, man. Okay, they got they got a, a so-called democracy over there, you know. They're swearing, you know, presidents or, or prime ministers or whatever it is they do over there. They ain't got a king. Where's King David? Where's Yahweh Shai? Where are all the tribes? None of that. None of that matches prophecy. All right. Why are there enemies? Why are they still got enemies, man? Why are they still in fear? None of it fits, because these are nothing but bastards, man. Imposters. All right. Anyway, again, it says, uh, And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and they shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles, of the heathen. And that's currently, you know, the state of Israel right now. It's being trodden down by the heathen. Okay, beginning with Amalek. 
And that's you got the Palestinians down there, you got the, you know, the Ishmaelites, they're, they're all out there fighting over a land that's not theirs. You know? The land is still waiting for the true children of Israel to come back, to return. And we're waiting upon the Lord Yahweh Shai to return us. All right? It says, uh, Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Okay? It's not finished yet. It hasn't been fulfilled yet. They've still got a, a, you know, a certain amount of time, albeit short, uh, still a certain amount of time to be there and doing their, 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 their fuckery, man. Doing all their wickedness. You know? Having their pink parades and all that kind of bullshit. Right? But they, they've only got a little time left, man. You know, pursuing to Revelation 12 and 12. Right? And, and, and Israel is going to be cleansed with fire. Right? It's going to be cleansed before we're going to return there, man. It's got to be made clean. It's got to be made pure. Right? And the Lord is going to cleanse it with fire during... During the, the World War Three, man. And all these all these uh heathen are gonna get burnt up in there. Alright. It's like you. Alright, this is uh for Bike chapter five, right? And I was reading this, I was like, oh it's done, you know, it's interesting, right? This is uh Micah five verse one it says now gather thyself in troops, O do or troops. Right, he have laid siege against us. They shall smite the judge of Israel with a rod upon the cheek. All right, so again, this is speaking about the children of Israel, right? But thou Bethlehem, Ephrata, though thou be a little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel. Okay, and that is Yahweh Shai. Right, that was the prophecy, right? To save his people, right? Uh, Whose goings forth have been from old, from the of, of from everlasting, right? Therefore, will he give them up until the time that she shall that that she which tra travaileth have brought forth. Then the remnant of his brethren shall return unto the children of Israel, and he shall stand and feed in the strength of the Lord in the mansion of the name of the Lord, his God, and they shall abide. For now shall he be uh, great until the ends of the earth, and this man shall be the peace. And when the Assyrian shall come into our land and when he shall tread in our places then shall we raise against him seven uh, seven shepherds and eight principal men okay which is, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that's you know a number of completion right not literal seven but you know a certain amount of men right and a certain amount of men have been raised up in this time also right it's what he's speaking on right and Yahweh Shai he, when, he, when he comes back he's going he to destroy our enemies man and we're going to return with him to the land all right, right now, uh, we, you know, we're in the hands of the, of the enemies, of the, of the heathens. All right, so the Lord's given us up to them. Right? As in verse 3, right? But the Lord is going to keep a remnant, the elect of Israel. Right? And when Yahweh Shai returns, okay, we're going we're gonna to come back with Yahweh Shai and blaze up these, these enemies of ours, man. Okay, the Assyrians represents our enemies, represents Esau. Right? He's the chief one there. Right? And they're going to get blazed up. Right? Verse 6. And, and they shall waste the land of Assyria with the sword and the land of Nimrod in the entrances thereof. Thus shall he deliver us from the Assyrian. Deliver the Israelites. Right? Not the whole world, but the, but the Israelites from the, from the Assyrian. When he cometh into our land and when he treadeth within our borders. Right? Let's say we've got Esau everywhere in the damn world, man. But everywhere Esau is, man, they're going to be, going to be uh, laid down. Be destroyed. Okay, we're going to get rid of those, or Yahweh is going to get rid of those uh, people in, in the land of, of Israel today. Alright? This is, um, because he's, <laughs> let me quickly grab that. Um, oh, why is that sentence going on? Red. Red. Double P? I don't know what it is. Yeah. Right, Isaiah 63, right? It reads here, it says, Who is this that coming from Edom with thy, <laughs> thy garments from Bosra? 
This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the righteousness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty, mighty to save, right? This is the Lord Yahweh Shai, and what he's going to come and do to these Edomites, man. So, wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? Like, why is the Lord's garment red? <laughs> you know? And thy garment is like him that treadeth the wine fat. He's got stains, blood stains everywhere, right? So, thou have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there of Edom, right, of, of Bozra, right? There was none with me. But I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart and the day of my redeemed, who are, he, who, who are his redeemed? The Israelites. The year of my redeemed is come. Alright, so that's what the Lord's going to come and do uh, to these guys, man. Alright. Um... And it says, verse 7, said, The remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people as the Jew from the Lord, right? So again, the Lord has scattered us. The Lord has got us in the hands of our enemies all over the world, right? It says, um, As the showers upon the grass that tarrieth not for man, nor wait for the sons of men. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion, right? So Jacob is among the Gentiles. He's among the other nations. That's why the word has to go out to the four corners of the earth to reach out to those elect that are among them. Okay, it's not for the Gentiles, but we have to go to the Gentiles to teach the Gentiles. <laughs> These are like foreigners, right? That's what the Lord did. That's what the apostles did, right? Um, so among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who if he go through, both treadeth down and teareth in pieces, and none can deliver. Thine hand shall be lifted up upon thy adversaries, and all thy enemies shall be cut off. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, that I will cut off thy horses out of thy at the midst of thee, and I will destroy thy chariots. Right? So the Lord gonna destroy our adversaries, man, destroy their ability to war with us, right? That's why when the Hawashai comes, he's gonna come and destroy the nations, man, and break their teeth. Right? These armies are gonna be cut off, man. They're not gonna have no armies. Alright? And I will cut off the cities of thy land and throw down all thy strongholds. And I will cut off witchcrafts out of thy hand. Because, you know, these Edomites and, you know, these other groups out there, they're heavily into their witchcraft. Thinking that, you know, it's going to protect them against the, the Heavenly Father and, and his son when he returns. <laughs> you know, it's going to be cut off. So I will cut off the witchcrafts out of thy hand uh, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. The graven images also will I cut off and thy standing images out of the midst of thee. And thou shalt no more worship the work of thy hands. I will pluck up thy groves out of the midst of thee, and so I will destroy the, thy cities. And I will execute vengeance in anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. <laughs> right? So the Lord's not messing around, man. And when we tell you the Lord don't, don't like these other nations like that, he don't care about the other nation. And he hates Esau. He actually got a, a hatred, an indignation against the Edomites. You know? Pursuing to uh, uh, Manakai. Uh, one or four or four or one, right? Lord hates Edomites, so he, you know he hates the, the, those people that are in the land today. Okay, yeah, <laughs> it ain't, ain't looking good for them, man. Because the Lord about to execute vengeance in anger, such as as not have been heard, man. Okay, and best believe that. All right, so these guys are gonna get ousted out of the land, man, with fire. All right, and and the true children of Israel are going to be returned. It's second Ezra sixteen, man. Okay, and it's, it's going to be verse seventy three. Just the point here. So they, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in in the fire. Right, and that's that remnant. Right, they're going to be tried and tested. Right, and they're the ones that are going to return into the land of Israel. Okay, when the Lord returns. Okay, you ain't they the children of Israel are not meant to be there right now. Right, we're not meant to be inhabited that land. It's meant to be inhabited by the by the by the heathen, by the enemies. All right, but in that day, okay, when the Lord returns, okay, we're gonna see who the chosen are. All right. And I'm gonna close up with this. It's Wisdom of Solomon, chapter two, verse one. It says, "For the ungodly said reasoning with themselves, but not aright. Right, the wicked, because the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And this is their mentality. These Edomites' mentality is this." <clears throat> all right 
It says, Our life is short and tedious, and in the death of a man there is no remedy. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. And this is why, you know, they kind of push that vibration out there of you only live once. So that here trying to do the most to enjoy themselves, to satisfy their, their spirits, you know, to satisfy their, their desires, their lusts. You know, they just want to do it all. And that's why so much wickedness goes on in this earth, man, because people don't give a shit, man. People don't think, you know, there's any repercussions, you know, or whatever, man. They just think, oh, I'm only here for a little while, man. Let me do as much as I can and I'm just going to die and that's it. Because they don't believe in God. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. All right? And that just, you know, that means you ain't got no leash, man. You're just out here, you know, free to do whatever the hell you want to do. As, as, as mad or as wicked as it is, you just think there's nothing going to come of it. You know? So it just breeds more and more evil and wickedness, man. Anyway, verse 2 says, We are born at all adventure, and we shall be hereafter as though we had never been. So like I said, right? So for the breath in our nostrils is as smoke and a little spark in the movement of our heart, right? They don't consider that the Most High is going to judge them when they die. So which being extinguished, our body shall be turned into ashes and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air. But it don't vanish. Yeah, your body go, does go, it does go back to the, to the earth and, you know, feeds the earth, right? It goes back to ashes, right? But your spirit goes back to the Heavenly Father. Because the body was taken from the earth, okay, but the spirit came from the from the father, man. So yeah, the body goes back to the earth, but the spirit goes back to the father. You know? So you don't just vanish. You exist still. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You exist. Okay, and you're gonna have to confront or you know, stand in the presence of the Lord and explain what the fuck you've been doing on, on the earth. You know? It says, uh, and our name shall be forgotten in time, and no man shall have our works in remembrance, and our life shall pass away as the trace of a cloud, and shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun and overcome with the heat thereof. For our time is a very shadow that passes away, and after our end there is no returning, for it is far sealed, so that no man cometh again. Come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present. Live for the day. You know, YOLO. You only live once. They're just, just trying to live it up, right? Live, live their best lives, right? And let us speedily use the creatures like as in youth, right? They're using use, they use and abuse things, man. Right? Let us fill ourselves with costly wine. And, you know, beginning with these elites, man, that's what they, you know, that's what they do, right? They get all this wealth and that and, they, and you know, they they uh, enjoy the finest things that, that this world has to offer because they're in a position to, they've got the money to, you know? It says, let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ointments and let no flower of the spring pass us by. Let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered. Let none of us go without his part of our voluptuousness. Let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place for this is our portion and our lot is this. And it's true, right? Their lot is this, man. Esau has been given this lot, you know, this dominion, the fat of the earth, right? He, he got that right now, right? He don't have the ultimate blessing. But that's why he's trying to make a way where he can keep his blessing and, and, and he can have an everlasting kingdom. You know, because he's gotten so proud in the time he's been in power, you know, been in rulership, that he's been over his brother Jacob, right? That he's looking for a way to outsmart the Heavenly Father, man, because he's so dumb. <laughs> you know, he's so, so dumb. He's trying to outsmart the Heavenly Father and, and figure out a way that he can, you know, defeat. The prophecy that the Mosai, uh, the promise that the Mosai made. Esau really is stupid, man. And you can tell he's done a lot of stupid things in the past, man. And it hasn't stopped. He just got more proud, man. And he's become more stupid. You know? And this is, um, verse 10. Let us oppress the poor, righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age, right? So they don't care how they treat people, man. They're just nothing. They say let's use the creatures as as in our youth. They just they, you're just um <laughs> you're just a number. You know, Esau's system, you're just a number in 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 you know in these companies or whatever. He he don't care. He don't care that you know you got family to feed and whatever. You, you struggle with your mortgage. He will sack your ass, man. He gotta keep his profits. <laughs> so he gotta sack your ass. He don't give a shit. You're just a number. He don't know you personally. He don't wanna know you personally, man. You know, he doesn't give a damn about life 
humanity. He, you know, he goes around the earth, you know, pretending that he does, but he doesn't give a damn. You know, you're just tools that you know to be used and discarded when he's done with them. All right. So let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow nor reverence the ancient grey hairs of the age. Right? They're not listening to wisdom. They ain't trying to hear none of that. Okay, they're doing what they want. Do as thou wilt. That's that's their that's their, their their mantra, man. That's how they feel. Because these guys serve Satan, you know. It says, um, let our strength be the law of justice. Right? Might is right. That's how America gone, right? They've got the greatest military in the world, and they decide what's right in the world. I've never, I've never seen them once go into the Bible and and and, and justify their actions, or not even, not even trying to justify their actions, right? They're not even you know uh, consulting the Bible to see what they're doing is right or wrong, you know. But they go around, you know, going around and talking and acting like they're God's army, man. When you're just indiscriminately just destroying, you know, nations, man, and people, because you can. And you make up some dumb excuse why you can. You know? Oh, to, to protect American freedom. <laughs> what? What are you talking about, bro? Ain't no one attacked you. Oh, the, the towers. Bro, come on, man. America hasn't been attacked. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, America's still that virgin city, man. You know, it hasn't been touched. Ain't no one come to America to attack it, bro. But you've gone into every country on the earth. You, you set up garrisons everywhere. You've gone into every country on the earth, man, and set up militaries there, man. And bombing the shit out of these, you know, these, um, <laughs> these Middle East countries, man. You know, because you can. Because you have the power. You have the, you, have the, you know, the, the military, the money. Because you've been put in that position in the earth. You know? So might is right with you, man. So yeah, let our strength be the law of justice. For that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. I don't respect it. So yeah, you ain't got the strength. You know, you deserve to perish, man. You deserve to be under, under rule. To be, you know, told what to do. Oh, you don't like our democracy? We're going to give you democracy. And, and, you know, bombs start dropping. <laughs> you know? Or, 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 or uprisings start happening, man. Inside up, uprisings, you know? Iris Springs and all that kind of bullshit. Proxy armies and all this madness. Terrorists and, you know, just... The nation ends up getting fucked. It's also sad. You know what I mean? He managed to survive, but his country's fucked. You know. Um, therefore, let us uh, lie and wait for the righteous. Okay, the Israelites, right? Because he is not for our turn. He is clean contrary to our doings. He upbraided for us without offending the law, right? Because they do all this madness and wickedness, and you know we out here telling them that, that shit ain't right. Okay, you're going off, man. That's wicked. Right. This is an objective to the, our infamy, the transgressions, tra, uh, transgressions of our education. Because it's all in wickedness, witchcraft, right? He professes to have knowledge of God, of Yahweh, and calleth himself the child of the Lord, right? Because that's who we are. We are the children of, of, of the Lord. That is our name, Israel. Okay? He, prince of God. Okay, that's who we are. That's what we are. That's what we've been made to be. Okay, princes of God. Sons of God, who is the king. Alright? So he was made to reprove our force. <laughs> right? Because we're, we're set up to be the righteous. We're here to reprove wickedness in all its forms, man. Right? He is grievous unto us, even to behold. For his life is not like other men's. His ways are another fashion, because we're made different. <laughs> different. The Lord made us special, man. Okay, we're different to everybody else on the planet. The Lord is separate. He's made us holy. He made us separate. Our ways are not like your ways, man. Our ways are not like the other heathens' ways. We are different. We're special to the Heavenly Father. Right? His, his ways are of another fashion. We are the, of the Lord. That's why. Right? So we are, we are esteemed of Him as counterfeits. That's what you, that's what you small hats are, man. You're counterfeits. You're imposters. You're liars. You're not who you say you are. Right? You are counterfeits. You're out here pretending to be righteous. You're out here pretending to be the good guy. You're out here pretending to be the, the Lord's chosen people. Right? So he abstaining from our ways as from filthiness. 
he pronounces the end of the just to be blessed and maketh his boast that God is his father. Okay, that's all we can boast in right now because <laughs> there's nothing else to boast about. Jake, Jake, Jake like, likes to boast about the fact that he got chains, he got girls, he got cars, and you know, all these rappers and shit, right? Like, we've got nothing to boast about. They're not fucking else. Everything belongs to Esau in this world, man, including you, you dumbass. Yeah, they're fucking signing a record contract, man. You just say you signed yourself into slavery. <laughs> deeper. Deeper into slavery, man. You know, with, with a few caveats, with a few perks. You, know, you, get, you get to have some money and, and some bitches and some cars and shit. Get yourself some chains. But you, you just signed yourself into the whole fucking world of pain. You know? This is Esau's world, man. So there ain't nothing to boast in, in this world, man. This, this world is bollocks, man. Right? But we can boast in the Lord, man, because the Lord is for us. Right, the Lord's going to deliver us, man. He's going to send his son to deliver us. And the Lord's going to set us up and establish us with an everlasting kingdom with our Lord Yahweh Shai, where we're going to be perfect in his sight. So yeah, we can boast in that. Ain't nothing wrong with that, because that's righteous. <laughs> we can boast in the Lord, right? But, you know, all these other things, all these temporal things of vanity, man, there's no, there's no point boasting in that. They can be taken away from you. You know? Your health, it can be taken away. There's nothing to boast about. The Most High is, 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 is in control, right? Give glory to the Heavenly Father. You know? Anyway, this is um, verse 17. Let us see if his words be true and let us prove what shall happen in, in the end of him, right? So say into that here, you know, as, as Esau, right? Testing our resolve. You know, pushing us to the brink. Causing us all kinds of stresses, man. We've got to deal on a daily fucking basis. He's got a, a, a woman all, all jacked up, all messed up in their mind. Got to deal with her bullshit, you know. Fucking bills, constant taxes, you know. Fucking parking ticket, all all day, every day. He's sitting just fucking with you, man, and and, and just call, you know making your life miserable. He's testing our resolve, man. He hoping we go break. He hoping we go snap. But he can't. He can't. He can't get to the elect. Okay, he ain't gonna make them break. Right, just like Satan couldn't make Job break. He couldn't make him break. He wanted. He wanted Job. To curse the Most High so badly and forsake the Most High so badly, but he didn't, and the Most High always knew that. Okay, it wasn't because of all the all the good things that he received of the Lord. The Most High gave him something more important than all of the, all of the riches that he got, man, and that was his faith, man, his integrity. Right, and that's what the elect have, and Satan can't take that. He can't take that away. Right. So Esau's going to fail. Esau's going to fail with all these bullshit against the elect. And that's why ultimately Esau's going to fail. Esau already done failed, man. Yahashai already got the victory for us, man. So it's already written on the wall, written in the stars, that Esau was going to fail. You know? But he's trying so hard out here to break the minds, of the, break, break the spirit of the elect, man. Okay, with the bullshit that he creates. You know? Anyway, it says, um, verse 18 says, if the just man be the son of God, he will help him. Okay, and that's what we, you know, we uh, believe, man. The Lord's going to help us in that time of trouble. Okay? So he will help him and deliver him from the hands of his enemies, okay, i.e. you, Esau, i.e. the rest of the heathen. All, all you nations are our enemies, man. Don't, don't get it twisted. Yeah, we get on Esau a lot because he is the main enemy. But you other nations are our enemy also. That's why none of you are getting a pass, man. And there's no mercy on any of you, on any of the other nations. Okay, you all go into slavery. You know? It says, let us examine him with despitefulness. Right? So like I say, he's he just looking to ways to fuck with us, man. Right? And torture that we may know his meekness. Right? How humble we are. How, how, how faithful we are. Like I said, you've had many guys come in this truth, man, and just can't cope under the, the pressure, under the strain of this world, man. And they want to go back into, you know, they want to forsake this life and go back into the world because they feel it's easier. Esau's broken you, broken them spiritually and had them return unto some bullshit. You know, because you got to have, you have, you have to have a, a, you know, a certain level of resolve to deal with this bullshit, man. You know, to be against this world, man. Because say so Esau starts throwing, you know, Satan starts throwing everything in the kitchen sink at you, man. You know, it's difficult. You know, and this is why we've got to put on the whole armor. You know, to, to be able to defend ourselves with, man. 
and be built up in built, uh, built up in faith and in in, in in spirit. You know, that's our protection. This is um, verse twenty. Sorry, let's examine him him with despitefulness and torture that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. See here, I say we have uh, patience because our faith is being tested constantly, man. But he so he just wants us to give in. That's why you know he's trying to get everybody marked. He want, he wants you to give up. He wants to take that mark and condemn yourself, you know? And then, then you know, Esau sees that as a win. Satan gets a win, <laughs> you know? He's, he's, he's able to do, uh, you know, deceive another 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 soul. Because that's his job. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a tester. Tester of the soul. He's a tester of the spirit, right? But again, like I said, he can't, you know, Esau, Satan, they can't get to do that, man. Okay, the elect are the Lord's. And albeit you might be able to put some of them to death, if the Lord allows it, right? But you can't break their spirit. Okay, Satan had to give up on Job, man. <laughs> See, it's like, you know what, man? I've wasted too much time here, man. I'm going to find some other fucking, some other dude, man, to fuck with him. You know, someone, you know, a bit more easier, less challenging. <laughs> and that's what he does. That's why Satan, he comes and goes, man. You know, he figures that, you know, at times he'll come back and, and try and fuck with you again, thinking, you you know, maybe he softened you up a little bit, but then he finds out that, you know, you're still a bit more uh, uh, resolute than, than, he, than he thought. But, you know, he always keeps coming back to, to, to test us, man, but he can't stay on us too long because he got, he, got, he got other things to do. <laughs> you know, these demons, these, these demons have got other things to do, man. Other people to torture. So, um, you know, Goes in waves sometimes, you know. It says, um, "Let us condemn him with, uh, sorry, yeah, let us examine him, uh, him with despitefulness and torture, that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. Let us condemn him with a shameful death, for by his own saying he shall be respected. Uh, saying things, such things, they did imagine and were deceived, for their own wickedness have blinded them, like their pride, right, and the fact that you know they've been getting away with all this, with all this bullshit for you know for so long." He still doesn't think judgment going to come from him, and he doesn't see no one on the planet that, that could bring judgment to him. So he's not concerned, really, with with, with men on earth, you know, because no one cares. No one cares what, what he did to you Negroes, man. What he done to the natives. He, he, no one cares. No one wants to do nothing about it. So he's cool, like there ain't no one trying to come and do nothing, man. And you Negroes ain't going to do shit. What can you do, man? So he ain't worried, man. But what he is concerned about is this truth, right? Because if it, if what we say is true, then your Shah is coming to bust his ass up, man, right? And he ain't no match for the for the for the heavenly Father's son and the angels. Right? He ain't no match for that, right? But you know, in his pride, you know, he's he's preparing, he's preparing for the fight. <laughs> you know, fight that's coming. He's preparing for the fight, uh, but. Even then, it, it, it's not going to matter. It's not going to improve your chances any any little bit. <laughs> you know, being prepared or trying to prepare ain't going to improve your chances, man. You know, my, my man's been in in in, in, a, in a in a fight camp for I don't know how many years. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's not improved your chances, man. This whole time it hasn't improved your chances. You know, you've got new weaponries and you've got new aircraft now and all this bullshit. You've got new technology and you think you're going to do something with it, man. But you ain't going to do a damn thing against the Lord and, and the angels, man. Yeah, your your fight percent, you know your your victory percent is still fucking zero. Your chance of winning is still fucking zero, man. All right. Uh, so yeah, so such things did they uh, did they imagine and were deceived, right? Your own hubris deceived you. Your pride deceived you, right? For their own wickedness have blinded them. As for the mysteries of God, they knew them not. Neither hoped they for the wages of righteousness, nor discerned a reward for the blameless souls. Right, you don't you, you don't consider at the latter end, man. Okay, we 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 consider the latter end, man, and that sacrifice is worth everything that's going to come to us, man. Right, complete rulership, complete righteousness in the earth, man. That's what we're going to have. Yeah, and you ain't going to have shit. <laughs> you ain't going to have nothing. Right, so like I said, man, you, you know you got these, these these small hats in the land of of Israel today. Pretending to be something that they ain't, right? And the Lord gonna show the whole world who is who is who his sons are, man. Okay, and it ain't gonna be you. You're gonna, you're gonna get toasted. 
right? And we're going to return to, to, to the land of Israel as God's. Right, when Yahweh returns with the angels, man. That's when you that's when you know, that's when everyone is gonna know who the sons of God are. <laughs> when, we, when we come back shining. When we return to the land of Israel shining. You know, you know our glory, man, with the Lord Yahweh Shai. With the host of heaven behind us, man. <laughs> you know, Esau, you're fucked. <laughs> you're screwed, man. <laughs> you know? So yeah, you know, I'm gonna end it there, man. Lower minutes is edifying. And I'll catch you brothers and sisters on the next video, man. So till next time, I say shalom.